DPCV reaction to change in available head. Here we see a DPCV in a stable state with constant available pressure and design flow. There is a diaphragm separating the P1 and P2 pressures in the valve bonnet. The spring within the DPCV acts to open the valve against the P1 pressure together with P2. It therefore controls the pressure difference between P1 and P2, which is delta PL. Spring tension can be adjusted to achieve required delta PL. The difference between P2 and P3 is the delta PV and will vary depending on the available pressure, P1 minus P3. A DPCV is a proportional controller. Therefore, by definition, it must see a change in order to act upon it. As P1 increases, delta PL will initially increase proportionally. The valve then sees this change and acts to close down proportionally thus decreasing delta PL to set point and increasing delta PV in proportion. As we can see, the DPCV will constantly see a change and act upon it as P1 to P3 is increased. It is able to accurately control delta PL until such a time as it reaches the minimum opening. Upon a decrease in available pressure, P1 minus P3, the valve acts in reverse. Initially, delta PL will reduce. The valve will then act upon this change and open to bring delta PL to set point and decrease delta PV proportionally. It can maintain this control until the point where P1 reduces below the minimum required differential pressure for the circuit. Watch again as we see the valve reacting to changes in available pressure. 